Every year we get lots of machines in for a service. Obviously it is important to have your machine regularly serviced as well as the maintenance that you can carry out yourself such as correctly oiling the blades, cleaning out the air filters and ensuring that your mains cable and everything is undamaged before you use the machine. Now machines do go wrong. They are mechanical after all and they always go wrong when they're being used. So the important thing is if you're going to send a machine in for service send it in with a note what happened what what caused the problem what was happening at the time you used it any clues that you can give when a machine comes in for service or repair that helps the engineer deduce what needs replacing and what problems you may have suffered now for example sake this machine is coming and it's basically just coming with a little note that says not clipping as well as it used to now straight away when we have a machine in for service the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug the machine in. We're going to plug it in and we're going to turn it on. There we go. So at least we know that the motor is running. That's a, that's a start. So from there we will progress down and the first thing I've noticed with this machine is this is pretty atypical of machines that come into us. Air filter, slide the filter off and what do we see? We see that underneath the air filter is completely full of hair. And when I eventually get the filter off, you can see how clogged it is. And if I hold the filter up to the light, you can't see very much through it at all. So straight away I can deduce that this machine has been running really hot. So when I get inside the machine, that will give me a clue as to the things that I'm going to look for. Bearings, which maybe have got the grease boiled out of them because they've run so hot, and more hair inside the machine but that's our starter so phase two of this video I'll show you inside the machine show you what we do when we service a machine so you know for your own reference when you send something in what exactly is going to happen to it when it's on the bench at Clipper Sharp.